and I'm going to go to ombre and just I'm looking it up it says having colors or tones that shade into each other use especially of fabrics in which color is graduated light to dark colors or tones that shade into each other so you can take two colors and meld them together in the middle so I am going to play with that and create a nice background. I am going to use these. These are, I'm actually going to, um, I have ultramarine marine blue and cad red. Just mixing it with a little bit of water. kind of makes for an interesting background. Well, I'm just going to So we have kind of the ombre effect, if I'm saying it correctly, and if I'm not, I apologize. And then we have removing the acrylic paint through a stencil, and that kind of gives, you got different tones and colors, so that's kind of giving an interesting background. So I want to put some modeling paste through this tiny dot stencil. The other one was a Tim Holtz stencil, and I'll put the link to all those things in the description box below. I do not have a plan. I'm just kind of winging it. And 
give this a dry. So you can pick any colors that go. You can pick a yellow and a green and, and have the lime green in the middle. You can have pink and purple. Um, I don't know where I want this now. Okay, I'm just going to stop. I'm just, I'm unsure what I'm doing. So I'm gonna clean up and I'll be back. Okay, so we have this background, which is all interesting. And it just was sitting out there in the side. And I was cleaning my room, my studio. And I was putting all my sayings that I had, the loose sayings that are here put them all in together in here and I also have all my focal points and odds and ends here and as I was doing that I kind of picked out a few things that kind of work together and so I am going to do that so I think what I'm going to do I found this quote when I googled cats for Pinterest and it says, cats are worshipped as gods. No, thousands of years ago, cats were worshipped as gods. They have never forgotten this. So I thought that was kind of cute. And um, so I typed it up small enough that it would fit onto the iCAD. And we're definitely in this zone. So we have the red all the way to kind of the blue, violet, blue. So, and then white and black. So I'm just going to finish this one off. It's interesting, I got so far and I didn't know what to do with it. Put it aside and um, lo and behold, you know, then I got an idea. So sometimes you just need to put things away. So if we go up like that, I think that's going to go good. So I'm just going to put gel medium here. A generous dose of it. Just going to put that on here. And I know, you know, you've just seen this on an iCAD just previous, but you know what? Sometimes that's what, what's on your desk gets used. I was watching D.D. Catron, Catron, I'm not sure how to pronounce that, um, you know, she uses her underpapers and she gets, you know, where you get inspiration and how things get, can go together. So, um, don't throw things away. So I think what I'm going to do is because they're worshipped as gods, I'm going to make him gold. And, you know, that's kind of the complementary color. We have that colored over here, so it should work. I tested out some bronze or copper there and didn't like it as much, so... I, because I'm just going right over top of all of this, I will be, um, oops, adding some of the lines back in with my micron pan. And I may do some shading. So the cat is painted gold and I'm getting up my micron pen after I make sure that it is completely dry because I don't want to kill my pen. And I'm just following the lines that are there. 
and filling in the shading area. <coughs> Excuse me. And this just is making the cat stand out a lot more. As I'm looking at this and I'm looking, you know, as I go through the video, I'm, I'm thinking, you know, I might have just left it as white. I really liked that. This works, but, you know, sometimes you can do the opposite. So I'm using the X-Acto knife here to cut um, and trim this. I don't like using scissors for fussy cutting. And for the first time ever with my X-Acto knife, I managed to, you know, cut things off. So I'll just be gluing that back on when when the time's right. I did notice that it is a, um, a little easier once the acrylic paint is in on the paper. It kind of stabilizes the paper. So after doing that, getting my quote, and I had um, off camera edged the quote in gold as well. Just attaching everything with a good dose of gel medium. There you see me reattaching the tip of the tail. And when I was putting the gel medium on, the Micron pan, which is supposed to be permanent, actually reactivated a bit, so I had to clean up and uh, then reapply some of the black lines. Just edging this with my Stabilo, and I wish that I had just um, rubbed it on to have the black around the edges. I got really carried away with the amount of water, and it bled out into the thing, and it really darkened it to the point where I kind of preferred it before I did that. Live and learn. I also smudged on top. It soaked into the paper of my sentiment. Then I decided I need some more dark around the cat. So I, I'm putting the Sibilo, um All Pencil on the craft mat and just using it to shade around the cat to make it stand out. Then I decide I need a little bit more gold, so I just go, you know, use my uh, Secura Jelly Roll pen and add a little gold onto that die cut. I also use my Micron pen to do sketchy um, outlining around the sentiment, and you'll see that in the final picture, but I don't think that's on camera. And a good splatter of gold. Here are the close-ups of the card. Love the sentiment. Think I might try this again. Love this little piece. This looks so interesting and so much depth and texture and layers. And there you can see the sketchy um, outlining with my Micron pen. Thanks for watching. See you for day nine. Ten.